for chapter two. Uh, we are going to look at the learning target that says to explain the purpose of the arrangement of the period uh, table into columns and rows. And uh, there's a specific reason why the periodic table of elements is arranged uh, in the way that it is arranged. Again, I'm going to use this slideshow to help me illustrate the um, idea behind the periodic table of elements. And uh, we'll start um, by talking just briefly about the horizontal uh, periods and the vertical groups. Um, the horizontal uh, order of the uh, periodic table of elements um, right here, so lithium to beryllium to boron to carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon, this entire horizontal column right here um, is called a period and the vertical column uh, such as the one that I'm on right here hydrogen lithium sodium potassium um, these are all uh, part of a group so we'll start with periods um, the period uh, such as uh, hydrogen and helium uh, make up the first period or the first horizontal row and uh, the period is indicating that um, both hydrogen and helium contain only one energy shell. Lithium and beryllium and boron and carbon and nitrogen and all of these uh, that are found in the second period, they all have two energy shells. Uh, all of the elements that are in the third horizontal column or period uh, are uh, have three energy shells and then all of the ones that are uh, in this period have four and so on. So potassium, calcium, uh, scandium, these all have four energy shells. Um, in this class, you're only required to understand uh, elements 1 through 20. Uh, if you notice, as we go from left to right in their periods, um, they are in a numerical order. So the atomic number of hydrogen is 1. That means that hydrogen has one proton. Helium has two protons, uh, it has atomic number of two, lithium has an atomic number of three, so it has three protons, and so on and so forth. Um, we can easily look at one of these elements, such as phosphorus, and we can count how many uh, valence electrons that phosphorus has. So as we go from left to right, we can determine how many valence electrons there are, and as we go from top to bottom, we can, can, we can see how many uh, energy shells there are. So let's do a couple of these together. Uh, let's just start with um, lithium. Lithium is found in the first group, right here, the first vertical column, which is called a group, and since it's in the first one, it has one valence electron. Since it's in the second period, or the second horizontal row, we notice that it has two um, energy shells. We look at magnesium. Magnesium is found in the second group, therefore it has two valence electrons, and it is found in the third period. This is the first period, this is the second period, and it is found in the third period, which means it has three energy shells. Notice that the first period has only two elements. That's because the first energy shell can only hold two electrons. The second period has eight elements because the second energy level can hold eight valence electrons, the third one, eight valence electrons, and so on. Uh, let's go back to that graphic so that you can see it in words. Um, elements in the periodic table are arranged in horizontal order, which are called periods. This tells you how many energy shells there are, and vertically it's uh, listed in groups um, according to the number of electrons in the outermost shell or valence electrons. That's all there is for chapter.